Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is very interesting, and it's very nice, actually. And I wish I can speak about this when I was a kid at the age of six or seven years old. Uh, I don't know, like when you were a kid, there was many cartoon about the guy who transformed and he became... Uh, there's a Japanese uh, series. Um, the guy who can fly became a spaceship suddenly. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, so today our topic is about UFO. UFO supposedly it is an identified object, something we see in the sky and we could not really uh, identify, so we call it UFO. Um, it can be a cloud, but yet you think it is UFO. It can be uh, a spaceship, and we call it uh, UFO. It can be your mother-in-law, because she look weird, and you can call it UFO. I mean, it doesn't matter what you see, it depends what you see. Now, Muhammad, obviously, he saw things nobody saw before. And we are going to explore what the Prophet of Allah, he saw when he came to this earth. He saw something strange. If we go in the Hadith, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, and those are accurate books, the most accurate books of Islam. You will see that the the Prophet of Allah, may Allah peace on him and spray on him and salute him and change his clothes and etc. and do all the work for the Prophet. Because Allah, he worked for the Prophet, not the opposite. It says here that the Prophet, he said, that the Messenger of Allah, he saw Jibreel, and he had 600 wings now the number here is confirmed by many stories you know that he saw Jibreel with 600 wings if we search uh, just for uh, you know uh, confirmation you will see tons of stories saying the same you know same story The Prophet he saw Jibreel with 600 wings. Aisha she report that the Prophet he saw uh, the uh, uh, he saw Jibreel in 600 wings. So the hadith all of it confirm that they are 600 wings, and this is Sahih as you see. So they cannot say it's weak. <clears throat> but here, here we have a problem. If the Prophet of Allah, he saw Jibreel, and Jibreel, he had 600 wings, that would be a total contradiction for what the Quran teach. If you go to chapter 35, the Quran says that the angel has two and the three and four wings. The Muslim between between two brackets they put pairs. Well, you know, I mean, it will be funny if he have a three wings. You know, uh, two and a three, which mean. Uh, by the way, here, it, this word is additional. It is, doesn't say that there is no word nowhere in the Quran. That's why it's between two brackets. The Quran make it clear that it is two, and th or three or. Uh, actually, it doesn't say even or, two and a three and four. Which means as an option, we can say it as, as if it's appear as or, but the fact it doesn't say or too in Arabic. However, here the Quran confirmed that angels of Allah they had either two wings, three wings, four wings. Now, pairs or not, that one is changing, we're not making a difference. So, if the Quran confirmed the number of the wings of the angel, so Muhammad he saw who when he saw. A person he claim it is Jibreel, yet he have six hundred wings. Here Muhammad is getting himself busted, and obviously there is somebody here is lying. One is Muhammad, the other one is Allah. So who is the one is lying? Either Allah is lying about the number of the wings of the angels or Muhammad lying about the number of the wings of the angels. And this is why I think that the Prophet of Allah, there is no way the Prophet of Allah will lie. I mean, are you kidding me? The Prophet of Allah, Muhammad, is the best honest man in the world. He never lie. 
he killed he steal he was accused of stealing underwear yeah but he would not lie I mean there is no way the prophet he will lie about such a thing <clears throat> so I'm you know I said to myself okay the prophet he don't lie and he is the most decent person in the earth this is why he said you can break your oath to your wives you can swear but you don't mean it you can lie you can do taqiyya uh, uh, you know uh, Allah will not take you, uh, take you accountable for a faith for an oath you make but you don't mean I mean which mean we can like we can take oath to each other but we don't mean it we can say to my wife I swear by Allah I will not marry someone else but I don't mean it you know I can't do that in Islam Allah will not take you accountable for your oath because it's what you meant not what you said which means you can lie because we lie we, 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 what, what what is the purpose of lying the purpose of lying is to say something we don't mean this is what lie is about <laughs> so anyway the Prophet obviously there is no way he saw an angel uh, he saw a UFO and uh, uh, I, I will be waiting for the Muslims to make a, a comment down there in this video this video will be very short so you guys you can download it and share it together and by the way I am really disappointed that the video I made yesterday uh, nobody downloaded it. nobody the one about why Muslim they gain weight and during the month of Ramadan look like you guys you don't you are not interested you are here just to have fun and to laugh at the stupidity of Muhammad but I don't care for me I do my duty I share my information I share my knowledge and whoever people coming for what what their real reason I do not care now uh, this video will be very short I will try to come later uh, tonight uh, I will see if I can do it uh, and the reason I cannot stay really I have some work to do I have four wives to take care of them imagine four wives and those wives they give me a kid every nine months and now I am in the I'm almost 95 so you can imagine how many kids I have and my kids are throwing rocks at all the neighbors I mean and now you know uh, this is what we do I mean this is uh, it's fun it's fun and uh, um, I'm going to move with my children to Gaza because there you can throw rocks at my as much as you want nobody even no police will come to you actually you became you'll be called a hero if you throw rocks so uh, I will uh, I will contact you back from Gaza brother Anyway, download the video, please. Share it with your friends. And let us see what the Muslim will say in the comment about the lies of Muhammad saying that he saw an angel with 600 wings. When the Quran say clearly, either there are two or three or four. Which one of them is lying, Muslims? Either Muhammad is fabricating this story. And as you see, this is Sahih. You cannot say to me, uh, this is a weak story. Don't play the game. By the way, even the weak is approved. Go to Sheikh Hamza, he will say to you, weak hadith is a weak argument, which means Muslims who keep saying weak hadith, this is stupid of them to say so. So here we go, you're a prophet, and this is a sahih hadith, saying he saw an angel for six, with, with 600, and by the way, Muhammad, he was able to count him how fast, I mean, this is fast. He saw him for a second, and right away he come with the, with the number. And here it says that the angels have either two or three or four, and the word pairs is not even there, but it doesn't matter, even if it is pair, it still will be funny. Why Muhammad, he saw an angel have nothing to do with Allah? The angel of Allah, all of them. You see, read carefully with me. Praise be to Allah. And here it's funny that Allah is saying praise be to Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of a God say praise be to Allah? Hey guys, praise to be Christian prince. I mean, but I am a Christian prince. So praise be to Allah who created uh, uh, doesn't say out of not this is a stupid translation the heaven and the earth who made the angels messengers with wings two or three and four which mean if you see any creature have more than those two or three or four he cannot be an angel the Quran confirmed that so Muhammad he saw someone with 600 wings what is that Either Muhammad he saw something with 600 wings and he is telling the truth and that will make it a UFO or the Prophet he is a liar he is contradicting uh, uh, the Quran and as long the hadith says that he saw Jibreel and Jibreel is an angel that's when Muhammad is, li is lying or the Quran 
or the author of the Quran is lying. So choose one word by Muslims, and I will be happy to see your comment in the text, please. And don't forget, uh, people, to download the video. With this, I want to say thank you. I will try to uh, to to come again live on air uh, this night. Uh, so follow with us. And thank you very much. Christ is Lord, and Islam is funny. And I am a UFO object because you do not know how I look like. <laughs> and by the way, I have no wings. Trust me, I have no wings. No wings, zero wings. Uh, let me look at the mirror. Take care. Christ is Lord. And see you soon. Bye-bye.